there are many things that appeal to, to, to both Ark and myself in getting involved with Cash for Kids. Um, one of the main reasons was it was the local presence knowing that the work that we were doing as a business was putting something back into the local community and that's something which Arco um, is, is very keen on doing. Um, also knowing um, the, the types of people that the, the charity is aimed at helping, so people with disabilities, deprived children is, is another sort of key thing that stuck out for us. And through the conversations with, with Lindsay, I've sort of identified the, the amount of uh, presence that, that was given out on a Christmas appeal and um, to the deprived children, etc. And to me, that really sort of spoke volumes in what we wanted to do as a branch to be able to support such a great, worthy uh, charity cause. We've had quite a large involvement over the, the last couple of years and it's built year on year. Um, last year we were just involved in um, giving volunteers from the branch, um, so we had 15 people supporting, helping, pulling all the presents together. And then through conversations with Lindsay at the end of that uh, process we identified that this year there was going to be a need for warehousing space which we could support. So we saw the opportunity there that said that if we could help out even further in giving a place for a drop-off point for the, the presents to be delivered into um, and, and to, to give that rent space up for, for six weeks uh, we would no charge it would make a massive impact into what we were trying to achieve through through this year's appeal so that was a, a real sort of bonus for us to be able to help out in that way also we've, we've again uh, given volunteers um, to um, the cause this time round. I think we had about 17 or 18 people out of the branch that, that helped throughout the, the six weeks process. And the reasons why we want to get involved is that as a business um, we, we are heavily into our corporate social responsibility. Um, each of the, the members of staff are given two days per year um, to, to get involved with, with local charities and, 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 and help out in any way and that has been a benefit for us in giving the, those amount of people up to help out and also um, as a business we, we give 1% uh, of pre-tax uh, net profit back to local charities and, and, com and communities so we have a local and um, group charity board that would sit and look through and validate um, any requests that come through from, from local charities so it's real fundamental to us as a business that we get involved in this type of things. I think one thing that was um, really good to see when you take a step back and look at this process was the, the amount of volume of toys that came through the door on a, on a daily basis through things that were being donated and to see the team step up to the plate and even though we were given volunteer days per day that the work was sort of constant throughout that six week period in every, every single person getting involved in making sure that once the toys came in they were allocated to a, to a picking area all sorted through so when volunteers came in the next day we were hitting the ground running to make sure that we maximised that every single present was going out to the correct people at the correct time frame.
Yep, brilliant. Um, will you just, um, you know, like go back to like last Christmas mm -hmm. um, and just say the, the, I'm just thinking of, you know, like donating the warehouse and the amount of toys that come in and, and they all went, do you yeah. know what I mean? I'm just. Right. So I mean, how many sort of toys? So yeah, that's a forty thousand. So there's forty thousand. Yeah, we, we don't. No, not. I'm not in bad figures. Like we donated the warehouse space. Um, something along the lines. We donated the, the warehouse space. Um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. About how that process worked, it was sort of from. Yeah. Right just like the snippets, because Richard will edit all this anyway. Yeah. So that, that That's fine. Right. Okay. Um, just think about how. Just speak something about them, yeah. you can just snip it all in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think one thing that was um, really good to see when you take a step back and look at this process was the, the amount of volume of toys that came through the door on, on a daily basis through things that were being donated. And to see the team step up to the plate, and even though we were given volunteer days per day, that the work was sort of constant throughout that six week period in every, every single person getting involved in making sure that once the toys came in they were allocated to a to a picking area all sorted through so when volunteers came in the next day we hit the ground running to make sure that we maximized that every single present was going out to the correct people at the correct time frame yeah yeah it's fine are you happy with all that right i am here yeah i am Anything else that you want to add from Arco's point of view or um, from Star's point of view? Um, I think we really, I think we really want to get involved again next time round. I think that is yeah. It's, yeah, I think it's, it's people now asking are we getting involved with it again, and and we've probably identified how we can probably make it more efficient next time round. Because mm -hmm. as we've talked about, yeah. so it's just about everyone's bought into it. Yeah, uh, and most I think we are now looking about the there's nothing being signed off doing it nationally. I think we've got the conversation going now. I just need to follow up with yeah, the meeting. So if we just talk about that, yeah. yeah. Um, so on the back of us having a, a local presence helping out um, for Cash for Kids, we've identified as a business, um, both our Aberdeen and our whole regions are, are actually working on an independent basis um, with, with the charity as well. And this has now enabled us to sort of take a step back and look at from a national point of view, the, the mileage of how we can get involved in maybe supporting the charity. So there is some meetings going off at the moment where we're trying to see the feasibility of, of putting this a, across the full UK branch network, uh, but it's at its early stages at the moment. Yeah, yeah brilliant.